Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk about Shiaki a little bit and the issues you might have if you're trying to run it on your Windows machine. Uh, this might apply to your handheld devices like uh, Steam Deck or if you're on a Linux. But essentially this is the issue I ran into and I spent about 3 hours trying to figure out what the problem is based on every forum thread I've seen. And I just want to make this a very short and simple to understand video with an example. So first and foremost Shiaki is... Uh, I would want to say an open source program made to utilize the remote play capabilities of your PlayStation 4 or 5 and sometimes it does not want to connect to the PS4 or 5 and certain people are having this error I was getting. Uh, you launch the Chiaki, it starts the search, it sends the search packet uh, and the Regis timed out waiting for a search response and Regis search failed. So it's, it happens during the, the stage where you try to register your consoles with the Chiaki using the PSN account uh, ID or uh, the PIN number when you enable the remote play. And even now, there's some poor guy just literally says, I also have this problem, uh, have you solved it yet? So what happens in reality is Chiaki uses these particular ports to communicate over your LAN or local area network with essentially the PS4 or 5 you have, or any other handheld. These are the ports that the software itself, this little tiny thing, uses to communicate. And what you need to do is A, either you can open these ports in a firewall, which honestly is not going to change too much. This is an inbound connection rather than outbound connection. So the PS4 needs to talk back to Chiaki running on your machine uh, to allow the registration to happen over your LAN. So if this doesn't happen, you need to essentially either A, you can try to add a firewall rule or you can forward ports in your router and honestly I think a router side is much more easier because then you don't have to tinker with all the rules and exceptions and manage your own firewall unless you are you know kind of tech savvy with that so for instance I'm just gonna quickly show how simple this is on a router side I have a TP-Link router it's a run-of-the-mill couple quid router and I don't know why but in their infinite wisdom they actually put it under NAT forwarding and under virtual servers which honestly is just stupid so all of the ports that is, is in the list I already added them in and that's why it works so I'm gonna show you how I set it up just in case uh, first and foremost I go with an HTTP connection uh, I'm gonna leave the port 80 this is a regular broadband port really any internet traffic uh, because I already added all the required in but here's the thing, you need to open the port for your console's incoming um, request essentially. So here you would put in the IP address your console is on. So you can either go on the settings on your PS4, go for the network and uh, connection status and it's going to show you the IP address your console has. Or if you already are within the router settings you can look at the device table. And depending if your PS4 or 5 is wired or running wireless, you should be able to see which one is actually there. So once you have this, here's the thing. Using the protocols, select all. So because when you are adding TCP UDP ports, unless you know which of these ports is actually TCP or UDP, you're either going to create duplicates of the same port 9305 as TCP and as UDP, so your list is going to be twice as long. Or you can just make your life easier and add them as both. So that port will have the priority to actually choose whichever incoming connection over the packet type it actually wants to get. Because there's a difference between TCP and UDP. I'm not going to go into that. That's not going to really matter for yourself. So baseline is get the port. Internal IP is from the device you're expecting this port request to come from. Protocol all instead of just picking one save simple that's it boom it's added in so you might think why is this required well i guess it's just to make stuff work really because as you know ghost of tsushima is coming out and maybe you not want to play it on a pc maybe you want to play it on anything else maybe you already have it on playstation 4 or 5 and looking at the requirements for the pc to run this game specifically if you already have it it's kind of you know maybe it's time to upgrade but in general, I must say it's just uh, because it actually works. 
once you open the ports, um, the device, the Chiaki, saw the PlayStation, uh, it registered the console instantly, uh, apart from just giving me the same error, and I'm able to just play it on my PC using the remote play. Now, granted, uh, quality-wise, if you're playing it, uh, it's gonna be... It, it, it's essentially, you know, just streaming from your console, so to say. Quality-wise, it's gonna look a little bit worse, but at the same time, you will have the benefit of using your own PC and maybe your own controller or even keyboard and mouse. I've seen people doing that as well. Or, perhaps, if you want, you can also stream it so you can use the sound alerts and everything else and your camera and you know have all the bells and whistles for your own channel really if you so choose because obviously with the playstation direct streaming uh, from a playstation you kind of don't have some of the things you're used to when it's streaming from the pc and that's pretty much all there is so yeah long story short if you're getting this weird thing uh, when you try to register your console and it gives you that the register search failed i'm gonna link these ports down in the description don't be afraid to look at your router settings and just add them in and you should be absolutely fine so anyhow that's all i have for you guys today i hope this was useful and you can just enjoy whichever other games you actually want to play on your windows machine or whichever other device and you actually will get to do that. Thanks for watching. Over and out.